All right, hey guys, this um, video is going to be an introduction to solving equations, which is going to be in our next module. So I'm gonna go through how to solve an equation, what an equation is, and kind of why and how they work. Um, so first thing we just need to talk about is what's the difference between an equation and ex an expression? So in our last module, we've been working with expressions. Expressions are like math sentences that have some terms in them. So like we worked with like 5x plus four, that's an expression, uh, 2x, plus eight, another expression, just 10 plus two, that's an expression. Um, what we're going to be going to now is something called an equation. The only difference is an equation has an equal sign. So it's a math sentence with an equal sign. So now we might see this, five X plus four equals 20. Or I might say nine equals um, six plus three. These are all equations because they have equal signs. Or I might say X equals two plus four. Okay, or 2x equals 10. These are all equations because they have an equal sign. And our goal for today is we're gonna try to figure out what does x equal to make these equations true. So that's kind of what our goal is going to be um, during this unit. All right, so when we're working with equations, you can think of an equation kind of like a balance or a scale that you use in science class. So for an equation, all equations are balanced. If you see an equal sign, it means whatever you have on one side is equal to whatever's on the other side. So it's a balanced scale. So that would be something like if I said, okay, I have three plus six over here and over here I have um, four plus five, okay? Those are balanced. They have the exact same thing on each side, nine equals nine. Okay, same thing if I say, oh, I have a square and three triangles, okay? And then on the other side, for it to be balanced, I also have to have a square and three triangles. It'd be the same thing on both sides. So all equations start out balanced. Whatever you have on one side equals whatever's on the other side. So I might give you something like this. I might say, hey, on this side, I have X plus two, and on this side, I have 10. What I know then is whatever's on one side, so whatever's on this side and the other side of the balance, they're equal to each other. So if this side is 10, then this side also has to equal 10 together. All right, and our goal for today is to figure out, hey, what does X have to be to make that true? All right, let's try one out. So right now I have a scale or an equation and I'm telling you both sides, sides are equal. I want to know if you, if you could figure out, is there some kind of relationship between the hearts and the stars? All right, so I'm telling you both sides are equal to each other. So the first thing I kind of look at is I'm like, okay, they both have a heart. So those obviously weigh the same if I was thinking of it as weight. Those are the same thing on both sides. So I don't even really need to look at that. Okay, because those weigh the exact same or they're the exact same on both sides. So now what I could just figure out is I see that a heart is equal to two stars. So every heart that I have is really two stars. Now I could kind of test that out. I could say, hey, this heart right here, I'll use a different color, is equal to two stars. And then this heart is equal to two stars. Okay, over here, this heart's equal to two stars. And if you look, I have four stars on this side, four stars on this side. So I can just prove that my scale is balanced. Okay, one last thing I just want you guys to think about is if I have a scale and I said I have a heart and a triangle and another triangle, to be balanced, I can say, hey, I have a heart and a triangle and another triangle. To keep things balanced, what you can do, um, if I wanted to keep the scale balanced or weighing the same, what if I added in a heart to that side? What would I need to do to the other side? Well, I'd have to add in a heart. So you can add in the same thing to both sides of a scale and it will stay balanced. Now I could also be like, hey, what if I took a triangle away from that side? Well, if I want it to stay equal, I'd also have to take a triangle away from that side. So you can add in the same thing or take away the same thing from both sides and your scale would stay balanced. You just have to make sure whatever you do to one side, do to the other. All right, let's take a look at this one. So again, I'm gonna tell you that this is balanced, an equation is balanced. First thing I'm gonna do is try to write an equation for what my scale shows. So on my first side, I see this side just has an X. On my other side, I have three ones. So for this to be the same, okay, if this side weighs three, then this side also has to weigh three. So each, this X tile is actually worth three, three ones. I could be like, oh, that's gone and just put three ones there. So. Um, my solution here is, hey, X equals three. So that X tile is really worth three to make this scale balanced. 
All right, let's look at another one. So this time I have a scale and it says that these two sides are equal to each other. So let's try to write what the equation is. Remember, an equation has an equal sign. I see two x's. Okay, those are going to be equal to, on the other side, four ones. So I want to know, well, what does an x have to equal? Okay, so if I look at it, I'm going to think, okay, I've got x's and I have ones. So if I kind of split this into group, I have groups. I have two x's. I'm going to split it into two groups. So over here, I'm going to split this into two groups. So that means each x tile is actually worth two ones. That would be balanced. So if I replace this and I said, hey, this x tile is worth two ones and so is this one. Well, two plus two is four. That side weighs four. And over here, I also have four. So this makes it true. So my final solution to this equation is x equals two. All right, let's look at this one and see what we have. On the first side, I have x plus I have four one tiles. That's equal to, because I'm telling you the scale's balanced, I see two x's plus two. Okay, and I want to know, well, what does x equal to make these sides balanced? What was x to make this balanced? So the first thing I like to do is I like to see, hey, is there something I could take away from both sides that doesn't really impact it? So as long as it's the same from both sides, it, the scale's still balanced. So I see two ones here. If I take two away from that side, I have to do the same thing to both sides. It still weighs the same. I also see an x on both sides. Take away the same thing from both sides, still weighs the same. Now all I'm left with is I have an x here and a two over here. So that tells me that x, every x tile here, is worth two ones. So this is worth two ones, this is worth two ones, two ones, um, and then my two sides of the scale are balanced. If I wanted to check that, here's what I could do. I'll just write it in pink so we can see better. We said each x was worth two, so I see two, three, four, five, six. This side is worth six. Over here, two, four, five, six. This side is also worth six. My scale is balanced. All right, let's try another one. Um, on my scale, I see on this side two x's plus four. On this side, I see three x's plus two, and they are balanced. Okay, so right now, to kind of compare them, um, to find out what an x equals, let's take away what they both have in common. So this side has two ones. They weigh the same. If I take away the same thing from both sides, it still weighs the same. I see an x from both sides. Okay, I'm going to take away the x from both sides. I see another one. Take it away. All I'm with, left with now is x equals 2. So my solution to this one is x equals 2. So that means every x tile is worth two. Now let's actually show a check on that and see if that works. So if I plug in, I said x's were worth two. If this was a two and this was a two, and then this was a two and this is a two and this is a two, because remember that was my solution, x equals two. Let's see if the sides kind of weigh the same or balance. So I see two, four, five, six, seven, eight. This side has eight. And then two, four, six, seven, eight. That side is eight those two sides are balanced. So I know I figured out what x equals correctly. All right, why don't you pause the video and try this one? Could you figure out what the x has to be for the two sides to be balanced? And could you also write the equation that this um, scale shows? All right, so on the first side, I see two x's plus three ones. That's equal to the other side. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine ones. So I don't know, what does the x have to be to make this equal? Well, first thing I just look and see, what do they have the same? Well, I see three ones here. Well, that's gonna be the same as three ones from over here. So I don't even need to look at those. They weigh the same. So I have two x's left and I have one, two, three, four, five, six ones. So if I have two x's, let's split this into two groups. Okay, I'm gonna split these into two groups. It looks like in each group there are three ones. So x equals three is my solution. Now, again, to test it, I'll write in pink so you guys can see. If I said x is 3, this one's 3 and this one's 3, those are the only x's I see. I see 3, 6, 7, 8, 9 on this side, and then there was 9 tiles on that side. My scale is balanced because it has the exact same thing on both sides. Okay, let's try another one. Again, if you want to pause this and try it without me, you can. Um, on the first side, I see 2x plus 6 ones. That has to be equal to, because this is a scale, they're equal, 4x's. Um, and two ones. So I want to know what would x be worth to make this true? So again, try to look at stuff that they have the same. I see two ones on both sides. Those weigh the same. Don't even need to worry about those because those two are equal to each other. I also see two x's. Don't need to look at those. So all I'm left with is I have two x's equal four. So if I want to know what one x equals, just split it in half. So I have two x's, split this in two groups. I have x is worth two because that's how many are in each group. 
All right, again, if you want to test it, let's just plug in. What if this was worth two, this was worth two? All, every X is worth two. Let's see if they have the same thing on both sides. I see two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This side has ten. Hopefully the other side has ten. I see two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. That side also had ten. Okay, so I just want to pause here and just talk about a couple of things with balances. So if I have some things on both sides, let's just say I have some hearts and some squares, some hearts and some squares, and right now it's balanced, right? It's the same thing on both sides. Here's my question for you. To keep a scale balanced, what could you do to both sides and it would still stay balanced? Okay, I want you to think about what could you do to both sides and your scale would stay balanced? So a question for you, what if I took away the exact same thing from both sides? That's kind of what I've been doing in all of these problems, taking away the same. Would it still stay balanced? Well, if it's the same weight, then it would stay balanced. Okay, what if I, here's another, so you can take away the same thing from both sides. Okay, as long as it's the exact same thing, it will stay balanced. What if I add in the same thing? What if I added a triangle to that side? Well, if I do it to that side, I have to do it to the other side so it weighs the same thing. So you can also add in the same thing to both sides and it would stay balanced. So you have to, if you, you could take away something, you could also add in something. Okay, so now let's use that to help us on the next slide. Okay, so the scale is balanced right now. Let's write down what we have. So I'm gonna put an equal sign. I see two X's plus three. That's equal to the other side. I have three X's and a negative one. All right, so now remember what I said, to keep a scale balanced, you can take away the same thing from both sides. So if they both have two X's, let's get rid of those. I can take away the same thing from both sides. It still stays balanced as long as I took away the same thing. Okay, now I'm left with three on this side and negative one on that side. Hmm. Okay, that doesn't seem like it's balanced right now. I need to get it balanced, obviously, so that they have the, and I have an X on this side too. All right, so I wanna figure out, well, what's an X worth? A lot of you guys could probably figure this out already, but I wanna show you something that you could do. So one thing you could do is, um, if you wanna get the X by itself, you wanna figure out what X equals. What if I added in a positive one to both sides, okay? Would it still stay balanced if I put a plus one on both sides? As long as you do the same thing, it does. Now let's look what happens on this side of the scale. A positive one and a negative one cancel, okay? And all I'm left with, is just an X on this side and four ones over here. So my solution to this equation is X equals four. That would be my solution. All right, let's try one more. I see two X and uh, negative three on this side. That's equal to on the other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So right now that scale is balanced. Okay, I don't see anything the same on both sides. Okay, so I just see nothing that's the same on both sides. But if I just wanna figure out what an X equals, um, it's real easy if you can get these by themselves. So I wanna try to get X's by themselves. So let's think, how could I get rid of those three negative ones? Well, if you added in three positive ones, one, two, three, okay. If I do that to one side, I need to do it to the other side to keep it balanced. Okay, so I added in three positive ones here. Now on the first side, look what happens. Now again, that was okay because I did the same thing to both sides. These are going to cancel, they make zero. Now I'm left with two X on this side and over here I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if I have two X is equal 10, one X, just split this into two groups, split this into two groups, it looks like one X would equal five. So my solution to this equation is X equals five. Now if you kind of can see the original one, let's just see if that works. I have five and five and then negative three. So 10 take away three is seven, that side's worth seven and over here it was seven to start with. So seven equals seven, I did that correctly.